What's up, everybody? My name is Vincent. Welcome to Cryptolution, where we talk about everything on the moon in the crypto universe. Today is Monday, August 8th, and today in our video, we're going to be talking about the new announcement that happened over the weekend, and that is the Ute Scholarship. Now, the Utes is an NFT collection that is the second collection coming from Frank, and Frank is the founder of D Gods and the Dead Gods community. Now, in this video, we're actually going to show you what the scholarship's all about, how you can participate in the scholarship program, and also what are your chances of even being a part of this community, being a part of the minting process, being a part of the scholarships. We're gonna be talking about throughout the entirety of the video, and you need to stick around till the end and watch everything in between, because this information will be educational for you to understand where you're positioned at and where the most likely chance you'll be able to score one of these NFTs, either on secondary or possibly, luckily enough for you, through a scholarship program. So guys, as always, if you appreciate these videos, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel, don't forget to join our Patreon page, and most importantly, please be careful to any of the scammers down in the comments below. I'll never reach out via WhatsApp, Telegram, direct messaging, or email, so please be careful and invest safely. So guys, let's go ahead and begin, because we have a lot to cover. So Saturday, this was announced from the Utes team. Everyone keeps saying the NFT market is dying. We are curating an NFT community that will thrive through these dark times. You can apply to be a part of it here. And this is the link. This was just announced. And a lot of people have been highly anticipated around this NFT collection because we all do know that D-Gods is one of the most successful collections on the Solana NFT ecosystem. So this is their second collection and a lot is being built behind the scenes. Now also, they are making sure to clarify what the community, what the public, that they are not doing any of the shady backdoor influencer whitelist BS. They will be releasing a transparent and public VIP list, which everyone on that list will be guaranteed one U list spot. So you can recommend anybody that you think would be perfect for this role or maybe perfect for this position to be part of the VIP. And you can go ahead and comment down below. But basically, they're being very, very transparent with the community, letting them know that, hey, we are not doing anything to allocate you know these influencers 10 50 or 100 nfts which we all know if some projects do do that those influencers tend to take a lot of profit and sell and basically like paper hand they take advantage of the public they take advantage of the public trust and this is exactly why Utes recognizes that and does not want to do that now what is the community doing in terms of influencers or people building within the space say for instance amy street uh, wanted to create a unique way to be a part of their scholarship program. And in fact, she even created a video showing what she's contributed to the community ever since 2021, which I thought was really cool. And she's been showing like how she's being a part of building behind the scenes, but also why she's trying to contribute back to the community as well. Because again, this is what D gods, dead gods, and what Utes is trying to strive for, which is people building together, growing together, not just individually or projects by themselves. But we also have Angela who also so uh, applied for these scholarships and she even said fingers crossed and we hope that she earned her spot in the space. We also have Janik.Soul who absolutely is one of these people who has definitely contributed to the Twitter outlook of information and education to the community. Some of his calls, some of his tweets have informed people and helped people in this space, not just selfishly for himself. We also have Easy who tends to hold a lot of Twitter spaces and you know has these amazing Solana vibes that he creates for the community so that people can have an open conversation about other NFT collections or maybe just giving people his own personal values and ideas. And I think that's really cool. We also have people who are hugely bullish around this collection that they're even getting tattoos, which I think is really cool. And it just goes to show that these people are not going anywhere. They are ready for the utopia. But let's talk about the artwork, right? Because John Lee, as we know, is the artist behind basically the use NFT collection. He's the art director. So let's go ahead and look at just a couple examples of his artwork. So again, this is his own individual artwork and his artwork sells for even 500 Solana or more. They are absolutely booming right now. And so if this is a good example of showing you what maybe a PFP or you know picture for profile could look like, well, let's also look at this collection. Now, this is recently uh, one of the collections that I don't know if it's auctioned off, but this is going to show you possibly where the direction of Utes could go. Now, it won't look like this. This is just showing you John Lee's artwork. And as you can see here, these are, I guess, close examples of what a PFP could look like. And as you can see, they're very unique within itself. Each one has its own one-on-one -on -one type of unique ability. And I, I just made that word up, but that's just kind of how it kind of goes. But this is just going to show you where it could go in that direction. Let's go ahead and go into what 
the application submissions have kind of tallied up as of thus far. And as of yesterday, it could have changed, but as of yesterday, there were around 11,000 application. And I do expect that this number could reach even up to 20,000 by the time that the collection will be released by the end of the month. That's just my own honest opinion. So you may be wondering, how do I stand in all this? Like 11,000 is a lot, even 20,000 is a lot. How does my one single application to the scholarship program even count? Well, hopefully this next one will help you give some idea of how you can actually stand out and why you should actually have a little bit of hope. Now, this is what Frank said to his DGOG community. And he wanted to share this with you guys. Now he says, by the way, I don't recommend that you fill out these scholarships. Remember, he's talking to the D-Gods community. He says, you can if you like, but we're working with Hello Moon to make sure we can track wallets related. And if you use a fresh Twitter account, odds are you will have a hard time getting in regardless. Now, also, logically, we should be all excited about bringing the most interesting, qualified people into our ecosystem. The best thing we can do right now is to be cheerleaders for youths and this whole mint. Let's welcome and encourage people for participating. I promise you, we have so many more interesting things that I can't even legally talk about right now for all D-God holders. Now, this is the first step in the direction we believe will lead D-Gods and youths to becoming the biggest NFT project in the world. So just within this message, He's telling his own community, let other people come in. Let other people come in so that we can grow more. We can't just stick around the same community and the same builders. We will limit ourselves from growing. So let's gather other people who have been more established in the space a lot longer, but haven't been given the recognition that they deserve. Because again, this space, even though it's very young in its infancy, there are a ton of people in this space. So who's really benefiting to the community, to all NFT collections, especially within Solana? So that's what Frank is trying to do. Now, this is a great Q&A. Now, Frank was talking about Dust Labs and talking with Shill and Villain on a recent Twitter space, and this was all regarding the scholarship. So some of these questions will have answers, and let's answer those right now. Do you have to have 375 Dust tokens in your wallet when applying? No, you don't. If selected, you will have up to 48 hours to get Dust before spots are reallocated. So if you're worrying about uh, having these dust tokens in your wallet in order to qualify, you don't have to. Having a lot more dust also does not provide you any favoritism benefit for the process, not being filtered by quantity. Now, acceptance are likely rolled out in many multiple waves. If you have the dust ready, may be in the first waves as they sure you'll be able to mint. Now, in terms of dust for application, it's just a binary in the back end that says yes or no to whether you have required dust. Dust is a fair launch token where transparency goes a long way. The teams believe in dust long term goal and don't want to create an unreal and artificial squeeze. So in my perspective, I think it's worth having 375 dust tokens in your wallet so that at least you'll be ready. Why wait until later? Because who knows, maybe the price of dust token will be way more than what you can afford. So for me, this is what I've done. I just already have 375 dust tokens in my wallet. And wherever the price goes, if it goes down to a dollar, up to two dollars, three dollars, doesn't matter. I'm gonna hold it because regardless, I wanna have 375 for the mint. And that's why I just would rather be safe. Now, when we go to the scholarships, all you have to do, and this is where we talk about why this is important to figure out why you need to sign up for the scholarship is because you need to find out what category. So once you apply and you attach your wallet, you need to go over to these different categories which will come up. Now, are you a builder? Are you a founder of an NFT project, a designer, a dev? What about a brand builder? How are you expanding on brands? How are you building sub DAOs? Well, maybe this is something for you. Are you a content creator? Something that you tweet or maybe you create videos, a podcast, a blog, spaces, anything that would suit you as well. Analysts, alpha callers, if you're into different discord threads and you're basically helping the community by giving them calls about when to buy, when to sell, things to look out for, when to plan an entry and exit strategy, that's for you. But what about an artist? What if you're a unique artist building your own NFT collection, even if you're just starting or more established, doesn't really matter. If your art is interesting, well, they're gonna to wanna to see your links. They're gonna to wanna to see your artwork to see if this is something that you can be a part of. Because again, 
if you're an artist, you're going to benefit the Ute community in many different ways. Now, are you working in Web3? Are you developing anything behind the scenes? Are you a VC-backed startup? Are you a company, a crypto exchange? Well, this is where you want to be. Maybe you're an NFT project, right? And you're just emerging. Well, this is where you want to insert yourself and be a part of this community. What about meme creators? Because again, we have to recognize people who create memes on Discord or Twitters for an NFT collection. Well, this is absolutely for you guys. Not many meme creators get a lot of credit, but this is where use kind of comes in and is trying to show you and give you something in return. But what if you aren't applying to any of these different things and you just think that you're a very important person in the space? Well, very important person is that spot. And if you think you contribute to the community in some way, shape or form, we got to show some proof of that, right? And this is where you want to be a part of that. What about a 24 seven contributor? What if you actually are a moderator or you know a community manager within Discord or Twitter pages within an NFT collection? Well, that's where you come in. And I've met a lot of people who've definitely answered so many questions, work, you know, teeth and bone just to answer, you know, hundreds of requests. Well, guess what? This is where you belong. This is where you fit in. And if you are any of these things, there's the other section. And that's where if you don't fit in any of these categories, well, you can prove yourself here, simple as that. So once you submit to any of these categories and you answer the questions, however it may be, answer them wisely because they could run from 200 characters or words to um, 300 words, right? So you just gotta keep that in mind. Again, I don't know if it's character or words, but you have to be very careful of the words that you use because it's not a lot of space. You can't like do a paragraph or a one page paper. But after that, this is my application submission. Once you submit, you will then be given your wallet address. It will say under review, and then it will say how many tokens you have. If you have zero, it will say you ha will have zero. But if you have over 70, 375 dust tokens or exactly 375 dust tokens or more, it will say you have enough dust in your wallet to mint. Let's effing go. So that's basically how it works. Now, you may be wondering at the part of this video, is this a good time to even buy dust tokens? And how do I buy dust tokens? I'm gonna to share with you in my next slides where a dust token could go. Now, just yesterday, this is where a dust token was at. It was at $1.84. Within 24 hours, it jumped around 33%. So that's where it was yesterday. What is it at today? Today, it is at $1.45 and I got in around $1.40. So now you kind of understand where this token's kind of going. Now, if we look here, we've seen some crazy volatility over this time. What do I mean by that? Well, if you just look on this chart over the past seven days, look at where we're at. I got in around this point and then it kind of like zigzagged up and down in a crazy volatile way and then it steadily slowed down back to 140. Now, if we look at the overall chart within the one year, Let's look at when it happened with an inception of the token dust launching. Now, it even went up to almost $6. Actually, it did hit $6 and even took a dump down. But guys, we've been actually in the red for so long. So I imagine that once the mint comes up, not just the scholarships, I think when the mint comes up and people are accepted into this uh, minting stage for the use program and the use NFT collection, I do think that this token is actually going to get close to even three dollars. That's just my own opinion. Again, none of this is financial advice, but it just is inevitable. People aren't sure what to do right now, which is why we've been zigzagging, you know, for the past day or so. Like you see this crazy volatility. That's where we're at. So at this stage, I'm just going to keep it at a dollar forty. Going to keep my 375 dust tokens and just see what happens. If not, it's totally fine. I'll just take my profits and put it back into USDC or whatever. Who knows? That's just my own opinion. So that's where the token could go, which is back up to $3 in my own opinion. But guys, this is where I think is really something that you need to be informed in, which is the dust happening. You didn't know about the dust happening? I didn't either until I saw this. Now this was posted by Hasselhoff. And he was saying that, you know, basically the dust happening is gonna happen pretty soon. Now this is an old thing. This is not gonna be three days. If you wanna find out the correct dust happening is this website, which is called dot dbuilders.xyz. Again, that's happening.dbuilders.xyz. Now in here, it'll show you when the next happening will be for the dust tokens. There's around 33 million roughly of these tokens in max supply. Now the next happening is going to be around 29 in terms of dust tokens. Now, I don't know in terms of numbers, I haven't studied the statistics around this, but know this, this kind of reminds me of the Bitcoin happening of the ERC-20 token of Ethereum going through its proof of stake. Again, a deflationary dust token 
is quite bullish in my opinion. And I think that everybody should be really informed of what the dust token could serve later on, past the mint, past you know the collection being released of Utes. Where is dust token going? What I love about dust token is that it's liquidity, that you can actually cash out your dust tokens for cash. And that's really rare to see many NFT collections taking their token and turning it into liquidity. They just, sometimes people use their tokens and you can't take it out, can't convert it to cash. It's because they don't have enough cash. Instead, they just give you tokens so that you could, you know, create another derivative or another um, enhanced version of your NFT, which I think was really interesting. Now, this is something posted by Shill, and Shill said, second dust happening has been deployed, and that was around August 7th of 2022. Now, DGAs have different rewards. They can get earn around 2.5 dust tokens per day, around 7.5 token dust tokens per day, which is good to know if you own either DGOD or dead God. So if you're staking, you're earning money as passive income. If you're wondering, how do I buy these dust tokens? Well, you can just go on Radium. Radium is a great, reliable source in terms of swapping your tokens. And you can swap your Solana into dust token. It doesn't have to be USDC or USDT, even though you can use that. It's not limited to just that. You can trade whatever you want into dust token, which I think is really awesome. Now, if you're wondering, okay, should I do this? Should I, you know, get into this collection? Well, just keep in mind that something's gonna happen maybe at the later at the end of this week. What do I mean by that? Well, this guy Cryptopia said this, breaking. Frankie D Gods confirms on spaces the youth NFT art reveal maybe will come this week. This week, this was posted yesterday. Could it come this week? That would be crazy. But people see the artwork. I can see Dust Token taking off. I can see the applications even accelerating more. So while it's at $1.50, is this a good time to get in? Well, that's up for you to decide. This is why this video is here to inform and educate you. So guys, in conclusion, how do I feel about the Utes minting for the NFT collection, the scholarships, the dust token? Simply, you guys should sign up for the scholarship. It's, I don't see any other reason why. As Frankie has said, it doesn't matter if you have dust tokens or not. Might as well sign up for the scholarship just to see if you get accepted. And then if you feel ready, you can get the dust token if you're accepted. If you're not, hey, you didn't lose anything. But if you have funds on the side and you can be a part of this, try it, try it out. I think it's totally worth it. And as you've seen, many people have applied for the scholarship. We can see that Frank cares about people coming into the space, new people, and that's you, the viewers, the people who build, who are in running discords, who are artists, who are creating memes, people who build behind the scenes. You guys, this is for you. And this is why I think you should definitely be a part of this. Accumulate some dust tokens if it works out for you, if it's financially in your position to invest in something like that. But also, you know, be a part of something that is quite amazing. And I think that this video should help you understand where you should be positioned at. The art direction from John Lee is gonna be amazing. And I look forward to the launch of this NFT collection. And I really hope to see more community members, people who are not known to step into this world. And we welcome you. So guys, I hope that this video has been informational. And I hope that this thoughts and my own opinions have helped guide you in the right direction. And guys, this is just one of a series of videos that we're gonna be covering around youths. And I look forward to covering all those things. So guys, if you like what you've seen, like what you heard, be sure to like up that button, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to join our Patreon page. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching Cryptolution. Register on our Patreon page for our insider training tips and more. And don't forget to click on the affiliates link below to receive sign up bonuses and access the Global Crypto Assets Exchange. Invest safely, and we'll see you on the next episode of Cryptolution.